Hello everyone! <laughs> this is what happened, but you weren't here so you missed it. It's Friday! Ah, oh, finally! I'm exhausted. It's been a very long week. I just want to get you guys updated on what's been going on with the cell phones. Everything is fixed. Uh, Sprint's customer service came through. They even gave me a little credit, so I'm pretty happy about that. So, go Sprint! Ding! <laughs> I don't know why I started doing that lately. I watch another uh, vlog, The Schumann Family, and they always go like, ding, and delightful. So if you hear me uh, saying delightful, it's from them. Okay, so I promised you guys that today I was going to put my recipe up for spinach strudel, the one that I made for Thanksgiving. I was supposed to film this last night, but Homer said you didn't have any ricotta in the house. You suck, Mom! <laughs> well, I used the ricotta the other night in the lasagna and I totally forgot that I had used it up, so I didn't realize that I didn't have any. But now I got some, so I'm ready to cook. So let's begin. Over here in the bowl, and I cook, and I thawed this out last night, so it's pretty well thawed, I would say, because I was hoping to make this last night, but I was talking to my husband and, I, and he said, what are you making for dinner? And I said, spinach strudel and he says Ooh, what goes with that and I said souvlaki so we're gonna be having souvlaki as well so I'm gonna have to make my special super duper tzatziki sauce but first things first this is the um, two and a half pounds of thawed out spinach and make sure you squeeze out all the water otherwise your strudel is going to be quite soggy uh, over here let me go by let me go by the list here <laughs> The original recipe calls for four onions. Now, I don't particularly like onions so much in my um, Spanakopita, if we're going to be Greek, uh, because I don't want to be tasting onion. I want to taste the spinach and I, you know, I want to taste some garlic, which they don't uh, put in theirs, but I do. So over here, as a substitute for the onions, I have one bunch of scallions diced up or sliced up and probably about a tablespoon of garlic and I was lazy and yes I used the um, chopped garlic from Polaner and over here this is supposed to be parsley and dill but I only had a little bit of parsley left so I substituted some chives it's almost exactly the same thing not and of course uh, some pepper they say salt and pepper but you know what the feta cheese that you're going to be putting in there is so salty. You don't really need to add any extra salt. Your heart will thank you. And some beautiful uh, olive oil. Any variety that you like. If you like the taste of extra virgin, use extra virgin. If you like a light one, use a light one. And I showed you the pepper already. I really prefer to use the peppercorn medley uh, because I really do notice a big difference in the taste. And by the way, the olive oil was half a cup. So I'm going to get all these things uh, mixed in with the spinach, and then I'll show you the final ingredients. All right, so there's the spinach mixture all mixed up. And over here I've got what I call the dairy ingredients. So four eggs, a half a pound of ricotta, and this is eight ounces of feta crumbled. This is what it looks like before it's crumbled. I'm probably going to add half of this as well, so like 12 ounces of feta because I like a lot of cheese. And Kristen just came home. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get all of that mixed up and don't worry, I'm going to post the original recipe in the bottom bar so that if you want to use um, the exact recipe, it'll be there for you. The recipe also calls for nutmeg, but nobody in my family likes nutmeg, so I always just leave that out. So there it is, all mixed up. Now comes the fun part. Um, this is traditionally made with phyllo dough, but my husband is Greek and I'm part German, so I like to make it into a strudel. So I use these puff pastry sheets. You get two in the box. I like to roll it out, and then um, I'll show you what it looks like when you put the filling on. So there's the filling, and we're going to roll it up like a jelly roll, and then we're going to pop it in the oven at probably around 400 degrees, four, well, 375 to 400 degrees. It's probably going to take about 45 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. But Homer says, 
This makes a lot. Two and a half pounds of spinach will probably make four strudels. So, yes, Sean. Thank you very much. Such a professional filming house. <laughs> There's always six different things going on, so I apologize for that. But it will make about four or more rolls. Whatever's left over, uh, if you don't have any, you know, you can't fit it in, just make it into spinach balls. So here they are, already in the pan, and this is the fun part. Be like an artiste. You make diagonal cuts just into the puff pastry all the way across. And that's going to look amazing when it cooks. And here's the leftover that um, I only had three skins, as Sean would say. <laughs> so there's the um, leftover that are going to be spinach balls. So let's check back in 45 minutes to an hour. Here they are, fresh out of the oven. Ugh, oh, I'm starving. See what time it is? 8.42. <laughs> I'm starving. And we've got the um, homemade tzatziki over here, some onions. Sadly, only cherry tomatoes. <laughs> and guess who forgot the pita bread? Yeah, and the meat's in the oven. The meat is in the oven, the fake meat. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow with Where Are They Now? And until then, much love.